What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we have updates on 9 new exotic catalysts. Catalysts for weapons of great interest to many and some of the masterwork versions do determine the future usage of many of these weapons in my opinion even though a couple here do seem a little disappointing for the most part these changes are great and are truly welcomed. Today we look at each catalyst what they offer and how they are obtained and the grind to receive them but hey guys before we get into that to reward my most loyal subscribers i am giving away a fully customizable controller every month playstation or xbox made exactly how you want to your standard to be with a chance of winning simply like this video and drop a comment down below telling me which exotic catalyst or masterwork exotic is your favorite so far and why enter the giveaway via the gleam link within the video description fast simple and legit good luck you sexy bastards Okay, so back to Destiny 1. Do you guys remember the Arms Day? Arms Day was a weekly event handled by the gunsmith Banshee44 occurring every single Wednesday. Each Arms Day, Banshee44 posts a new set of test weapons, lists a new set of legendary weapon orders, and delivers weapons to guardians who have existing orders. What you do here is you grab them test weapons and compete certain challenges with each, then receiving gunsmith rep, allowing you to rank up the gunsmith and receive rewards. He also offered the selection of 5 orders for legendary weapons. The number of simultaneous orders a guardian can have is dependent on their gunsmith reputation. 1 order at rank 1, 2 orders at rank 2 and a maximum of 3 orders at rank 3 per week. Placing orders costs 2500 glimmer and occupies 1 inventory slot and these orders would be redeemed a week later on the following arms day. For the most part it was a great addition which to be honest I do miss, it was one of the things I enjoyed doing every single week. To be honest there's many things about Destiny 1 I miss and I'm kind of glad to see some of them are making a return. Destiny 2 will have a new feature called Arms Week. Now details exactly on what this is and how it will work are kind of scarce but it was hinted at ages ago and now it's hinted at to the point of there being no denial it's coming people and if I did have to guess it will be with the next update on July 17th. So how will it work? Well clues can be found within certain catalysts which is how they will be obtained which we will get to in a second. So here's what I think Arms Week might be. Now probably a weekly event going on for 5 weeks. Why 5 weeks you are wondering, we will get to that in a second. And I think the gunsmith may be the bearer of this event. I could be wrong there but hey. A 5 week event of different quests or challenges for us to do. Starting with the update on July 17th. Along with this update on July 17th we get a new event called the Solstice of Heroes which in turn this arms week could coincide with, we don't know. But we also get bounties, exotic armor changes, 6v6 quick play and much more on July 17th so it's going to be a good update. But yeah, however the arms week is introduced, I believe it will be challenges within certain activities like nightfalls and PvP which is how we will receive these catalysts and we have factual proof to coincide with this. Now the reason I thought Arms Week will last 5 weeks, each week offering a different thing to chase is because of new items found within the Destiny database which are unlocked via the Arms Week activities. The fighting lion catalyst found by engaging in activities during the celebration of deadly craftsmanship which is arms week. Hard light catalyst again found by engaging in activities during the celebration of deadly craftsmanship. Same for the rat king, same for the sous regime and same for the prospector. These catalysts are all found by engaging in these activities during the celebration of deadly craftsmanship which is arms week. But it goes further on exactly how these are obtained people. Fighting Lion defeat 1000 enemies and complete the Nightfall Strike the Pyramidian during Arms Week with Fighting Lion equipped. Hard Light defeat 1000 enemies and complete the Nightfall Strike Sabbath and Song during Arms Week with the Hard Light equipped. The Prospector defeat 500 enemies and complete the Nightfall Strike the Arms Dealer during Arms Week with the Prospector equipped. The Seuss Regime defeat 300 enemies and complete Strange Terrain Nightfall during Arms Week and the Rat King defeat 1000 enemies using the Rat King to unlock this upgrade. Also shows a Nightfall completion is required but doesn't specify which Nightfall is needed. 
And these are the five catalysts found during Arms Week. And because they all include individual nightfall completions, it leads me to believe Arms Week will be a five week thing. But that hasn't been confirmed yet, people. Could go on for longer, we don't know. So what does each catalyst offer upon receiving it and unlocking the Masterwork version? While well, the Hard Light receives 25 plus stability, Fighting Lion, plus 30 reload speed, with a new perk after the weapon fires, Equipped kinetic and power weapons gain a brief period of increased handling and precision damage. The Prospector, plus 40 blast radius, plus 70 magazine size, which comes with a new perk, deeper pockets, increased ammo reserve. Rat King, plus 20 aim assist, plus 20 recoil direction, and an infestation perk. Improved aim assist and recoil direction, refreshes health on vermin invisibility trigger, which is nuts! The Zeus Regime people, plus 50 recoil direction and a Zeus Ascendance perk. Increased chance for kills to regen health. So that's pretty cool. So some insane changes coming there really is people. Now we just wait for this Arms Week event. The Zeus is the one here I most look forward to trying to obtain as it's a weapon I really want to be good, it's a weapon I really want to compete and the change is being applied via the Masterwork version seems like it could be that change for the better so we await people, we await the arms weak but there is more more catalysts have been found within the database which are not related to Arms Week. We have the Legend of Acrius, the Telesto, and the Sleeper Simulant. Now it's not clear on exactly how these are obtained as of yet, while well, not the mass work challenges once the catalysts have been unlocked, but here is what we know so far. The Telesto, found in the greatest challenges of the Planet Devourer, Prestige Eater of Worlds that is, and this applies the following once the mass work is unlocked. Plus 60 magazine, with a deeper pockets perk. Increased ammo reserves. To unlock the Masterwork version, we know you have to kill or get 500 of something. If I had to guess, I'd say multiple enemy kills with its explosion, and 500 of these are needed in total. Sounds crazy, but it's definitely doable. The Sleeper Stimulant, found in the greatest challenges of the Astral Pinnacle. Prestige, Spiral Stars, no doubt. Masterwork changes, plus 75 charge time, with the Accelerated Coils perk. Again, 500 of something are needed once the catalyst has been found for you to get the masterwork version. Here I'd definitely say multi-kills, 100%. And lastly people, we have the Legend of Acrius, found in the greatest challenges aboard the Emperor's Craft, Prestige and Leviathan. Masterwork changes, plus 20 reload speed, and plus 40 magazine size with the Deeper Pockets perk. Here 300 of something is needed, I'm guessing kills within the raid maybe. But damn, the Masterwork version here is amazing, people. I mean, if you were a fan of The Legend of Acrius, you will understand this thing's power as it is now. A bigger magazine size and a faster reload time, that's all we want. And I cannot wait to get grinding for this, people. I really can't. Now, the Telesto, The Legend of Acrius, and The Sleeper Simulant are not confirmed for any time or date. But it is believed they will become available sometime around July 17th with the update. But that has not been confirmed, people. And guys, we are coming close to the end of the video, but the Black Spindle. Let's talk about this weapon for a second. Where is it? How is it obtained? It's just a massive mystery. Nobody knows. There's no details on the weapon as of yet. In my opinion, I think it might be time gated and will become available for us to earn somehow in game pretty soon. But changes in the database have been applied to the catalyst of this weapon, which is extremely weird. The catalyst is receiving updates, but there's no sign of the actual weapon in the database. And this is why I believe it will be time gated like it was in D1. So the classified catalyst, which is no doubt the black spindle, as you can see on the screen now, is unlocked by defeating that of a certain enemy. Now, I have seen much speculation on what enemy it may be, most believing it to be Nocris. For me it doesn't matter, the catalyst is just a cherry on the cake. The cake is the weapon itself and at the moment we don't know how it's unlocked. Notice the perk it receives once it's a masterwork, box proving. Aiming this weapon without firing for a brief moment grants bonus range and precision damage while it remains zoomed. Sounds pretty cool. But that is all there is people. I mean it's new information but still there is a giant mystery surrounding this weapon. How is it obtained? Do you guys believe it will be time gated like I do? Let me know down below in that comment section. Do you think there's something else you think it's in game now? Let me know what you believe. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, truly helps me and my channel out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never
get it right.